Welcome to Code Lover, your favorite place to learn about coding. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery of conditional statements in Java. These are the building blocks of programming logic, helping us make decisions in our code. Whether it's a simple if-else or a complex switch case, we'll tackle them all. Ready to dive into the world of conditional statements? Let's go! Conditional statements in Java, as the name suggests, execute or skip a certain part of code based on conditions. It's like a crossroad where each path is a different outcome based on the condition met. The first type of conditional statement we'll be discussing is the if statement. It's like saying, if it's raining, take an umbrella. In Java, this would look something like this. If is raining, take umbrella. The code inside the if block executes only if the condition is true. That is, if it's raining, we take the umbrella. Next, we have the if-else statement. Think of it as an upgrade from the if statement. It adds, else, you don't need an umbrella. So if the if condition is false, the else block executes. Lastly, we have the switch case statement, which is like a multi-directional crossroad. It allows multiple conditions and executes the corresponding block of code. A simple example, if you're choosing a drink based on your mood, if you're happy, you might choose coffee, else, you might choose tea. But with a switch case, you can choose based on many moods. So, these are the three types of conditional statements in Java. Each has its own use depending on the situation. Now you know what conditional statements are. But how do we write them in Java? Well, let's dive in. In Java, we have three types of conditional statements. If, else if, and else. The if statement checks if a condition is true. If it is, the code inside the if block executes. The else if statement checks for an alternative condition if the initial if condition is false. Lastly, the else statement executes when all previous conditions are false. Let's write a simple conditional statement. Suppose we have an integer variable score. We'll write an if statement that checks if score is greater than 50. If it's true, we'll print pass. If it's false, we'll print fail. Here's how it looks. Run the code and voila. You'll see pass printed on your screen. And that's how you write and use conditional statements in Java. Simple, right? Let's quickly recap the key points about conditional statements in Java. We've learned about three types, if, if, else, and switch. Each has its unique syntax. For if, it's if condition. If else is if condition else. And switch is switch expression. Syntax accuracy is crucial. Also, remember to pick the right conditional statement for your scenario. The if and if-else statements are perfect for two-way decisions, while switch is ideal for multi-way decisions. And that concludes our quick guide on conditional statements in Java. Remember, practice makes perfect. We've reached the end of our tutorial on conditional statements in Java. Remember, practice makes perfect, so give it a shot. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Code Lover and like this video. Happy coding!